Hi guys, this is Victor. Welcome to DIY Time. On this channel, I'm posting DIY car repair videos on Toyota, Lexus, and Scion cars. My goal is to teach you how to work on your own car, save a lot of money doing that, and hopefully learn a new skill or two. In this video, I'm going to share with you how I was able to fix ABS problem on my Lexus IS350. Keep in mind, there could be many different reasons why you're getting ABS light on the dashboard, and depending on your specific situation, there will be different ways to fix the problem. I'm just sharing what happened in my case and what I've done to take care of that. If you're interested to see more videos on how to fix ABS problem on your car, check out my playlist at the top of the screen or in the description area below. To troubleshoot the ABS problem in your car, first start with scanning car ECU for diagnostic trouble codes. For that you'll need advanced OBD2 car scanner capable of reading ABS error codes. I'm personally using this wireless Bluetooth blue driver scanner. It's my favorite scanner by far compared to anything else I've tried before. And if you're interested, you can check out the links for this scanner in the description area below. After getting the error codes, you can get a very good idea where to look for the problem. As you can see, in my case, I've got codes C0200 and C0205. Front speed sensor right hand circuit and front speed sensor left hand circuit. From these error codes, we can clearly see that I have problems with both front left and right wheel speed sensor circuits. Now we have an idea where to get started. Let's safely jack up the car and inspect the wheel speed sensors and cables. You can probably do this without removing the wheels, but I'm gonna remove them anyways to be able to record everything. Visually inspect the wheel speed sensors and cables for any signs of physical damage and replace them if necessary. In my case, everything looked fine on one side of the car, but on the other side, the wheel speed sensor cable was damaged. Looks like the previous owner already tried to fix this using electrical tape, but that fix didn't last very long, obviously. If you don't notice any obvious signs of physical damage, you can also remove the cables and test them for continuity using a multimeter. I replaced the bad wheel speed sensor cable and erased ABS error code, and the problem was fixed. The second error code was due to a totally different reason, and that's another story. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how I fixed that as well in another video. If you need help finding any replacement parts or tools used in this video, check out the links in the description area below. I hope this video was helpful, and if so, please give it a like. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.